Hey friends, hey, it's your girl Kitty. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a ride or die part of KKC, welcome back. If you would like to be part of the KKC family, we would love to have you. All you need to do is drop the sprinkles and smiles and yeah, it's as simple as that. Um, if you aren't familiar with what sprinkles and smiles is, stay tuned to the end of this video and there will be a huge hint at the end. <laughs> So today, guys, I am having cheddar broccoli rice, you already know. <laughs> um, honey garlic ribs and barbecue ribs prepared by moi. So, without further ado, I got barbecue sauce all over me. Let's dig in. And my water, this is the second time I've filled this up today. Um, I haven't drank as much water today as I would have liked to. And I didn't infuse it. I need to, the wooden spoon, you already know. Ooh, everything's still hot. Yay! Look at that. Steamy. It's so steamy. So what kind of ribs these are, I don't even know. They're just ribs. So this is my second meal today. For lunch, I didn't have breakfast. So today I had water, one thing of water, 28 ounces of water, uh, two hard boiled eggs, and now dinner. This is my dinner. Mmm. Okay, how am I going to do this? Well, this bone came right off. Mmm. It's gonna get messy. I should have wore a bib. Look at that. <clears throat> Look at that. Get out of it. Yum. Cat. Wow. Go Branda, go Branda. <laughs> These are good guys. Mm. I rubbed the ribs with my magic touch. No, I'm just kidding. Um, with 
just salt and pepper and actually sea salt. I have my sea salt grinder thing I have, it's sea salt. My salt grinder I have is sea salt. Um, I want to try the Himalayan pink salt. I've seen that at the store and I want to try it. And just crush, um, uh, I have a grinder of black pepper. Yeah, it's like little, little round black beads, balls, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, so that's what I rubbed it down with on both sides. Then I put it in a Pyrex casserole dish and sealed it with tin foil and put it on 275 for three hours. Mm-hmm. So cook it low and slow. And then, no, and then, no, and then I put two jars of honey garlic. I like honey garlic anything. So then I did this one with the sweet baby rays. Uh, hickory and brown sugar barbecue sauce really good um I like this the barbecue sauce one the ba uh, sweet baby rays but I actually there's a bullseye I can't remember which one it is oh uh, bullseye chicken and rib duh Bullseye chicken and rib is one of my favorites. And now I know John doesn't like ribs. <clears throat> he ate two. These are pretty big. Like I cut off two big chunks for him. Like two ribs with like a decent amount of meat on them. He ate it all, but he's like, Mommy, these are good, but I really don't like them. He's like, I'm just used to chicken or pork, he says. <laughs> so. Yum. Okay. all morning mm, early afternoon I was watching different ways to cook like to prepare ribs and this video I watched The guy said if your ribs fall off the bone, they're overcooked. Is that true? Tell me. Tell me in the comment section what your opinion is. I thought if your ribs if your ribs fall off the bone, they cooked good. Mmm. Like that. It said they, they would be overcooked and they'll turn to mush. My ribs aren't mush. Oh my gosh. So... I'm in the middle of putting together a vlog. Actually, yeah. Yeah, I have a few clips so far, but um, I did some clips of me c like doing the ribs, cooking the ribs, whatever. Um, I'm, pro I'm not sure if I'm going to stick it at the beginning of this video. I'm not sure yet. You'll know. 
<laughs> so John's a little nervous. He's got a math quiz tomorrow. But, uh, <clears throat> we were just going over, like, how to find the volume and, uh, you know, length times width times height. And I think that part, because he knows, like, perimeter and area, how to find that, but he was, like, I think he was a little nervous with the finding the volume. He didn't fully like understand it. Anyway, so I found a couple of videos on YouTube. YouTube's great, guys. Like you can find so much information and help and advice and guidance and tips and tricks and <clears throat> So I found a couple of Found a really good video. Very short, very simple, basic to the point of how you find the volume. And he just lit right up when the two questions in the video, he drew it out and did the steps. And he, he just lit right up. It was so cute. Thursday. <clears throat> so, I want to take a moment and congratulate the C Squad for reaching 2K plus subbies. That is fan freaking tastic. I am so proud of you guys. Like, honestly, you deserve way more people to um, fall in love with your channel and you guys because you're amazing. Absolutely amazing. I am so proud of you guys. So proud. I, like, yeah, you guys deserve all the great things and I'm I'm truly honored to have met you guys um just amazing and There was a new channel I stumbled across. I should have wrote it down. See, I do that. There's so many people that have hit milestones. This video wasn't intended to be a shout out video. It just coming to me, guys. Just for something to talk about. And it's important, you know, to give props and praise 
you know, sauce queen. Freaking love ya. Steph and Tasha. Amazing. Absolutely love them. I'm gonna bring up YouTube on this phone. See if I can find <clears throat> mm, I know who it was. I think. <clears throat> Cause I did a shout out in my other video. I don't know. We're not gonna. Oh, I think that phone's gonna die soon. Like, die, die. But if I didn't get to giving you a shout out and giving you a congratulations, I will get to it. Don't worry. Go sit down. No, that phone's not gonna work, guys. All right. <clears throat> Let's try these honey garlic ones. O. M. To the G. Oh my goodness. Becky. Look at this rib. <laughs> Such a dork. Wow. Okay. Mmm. Amazing. Oh, I didn't even say. I'm sure you guys are aware, if you know who Steph and Tosh are. They hit 100 plus, 100k plus. Mmm. And Sauce Queen? Is that like 75k, I think? She's probably up more now, but... <clears throat> mm. 
Holy mama. Wow. Excuse me. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to end my video here, but guys, I really want to do a Q&A. I've been trying for a while. I've mentioned it in a couple of videos, but please, 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 please. <laughs> drop questions down below. There's no limit to how many questions you ask. Um, please keep it tasteful. Um, <clears throat> but yes, I would love to do a Q and A and, um, that just shows that you guys are interested. You just, I don't know. Do you want to know more about me? <laughs> There's more to me than I just sit here and eat food and talk to my cell phone. Hmm. <laughs> Get out of it. But yes, please, Q&A, ask some questions down below. Um, I really, really want to do a QA. and a um, Whether it's my next video or the one after that, I'm not sure. It depends on how quickly I get some questions. And if I have enough questions for it to be a legit Q&A video. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed having dinner with you. Let's do it again sometime. <clears throat> um, if you've made it this far, thank you for, you know, sticking around and checking out my content and spending time with me. And I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like, comment, and that. <laughs> um, yeah, so drop the sprinkles and smiles. That is what that means. Anyways, I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Deuces.